Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to add tips on the Square app in 2023. Square is a popular payment processing platform that allows businesses to accept credit card payments and manage their transactions. If you want to provide your customers with the option to leave tips when using the Square app, this tutorial is for you. So we'll guide you through the steps to enable tips on your Square app. So let's dive right into it and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So first, you will have, of course, to go and install the Square app. If you haven't already downloaded and installed the Square app on your mobile device, you can find it on the App Store for iOS devices or the Google Play Store for Android devices and sign in to your Square account or create a new account if you don't have one. So as you can see, if I go here, uh, if you even use in your PC, you can simply scan the QR code that you will find on Square app. And once you scan it, of course, you'll be taken right away to your phone to download it. And now I'm just going to show you the screen of my phone. So as you can see at the moment, I'm using like a Let's View, an app that's uh, letting me to mirror my phone. And as you can see here, we'll have to go into Square. So if you have an account, of course, you can always go and click on sign in to log in into your account. You can uh, sign in with your email address and password, or you can use the device code. If you don't have an account, you can always go and click on create an account and you'll have to follow the steps. So here I'm just going to follow like those steps, click on continue. I'm just going to create like a password here. So of course, while creating my password, I'll try to uh, hide this screen at the moment. So it should not take a lot of time while I'm creating my password. Then yeah, here we are. Click and continue. And as you can see, you'll have to choose the your country. Then make sure to agree to the Square's seller agreements and privacy policy. Of course, this app is pr protected by reCAPTCHA Enterprise and the Google privacy policy in terms of servers. So make sure to go and read them if you want to, or if you're, uh, uh, if you don't want to have any trouble with them in the future and make sure to continue after you read it so click on confirm like they will confirm my email here so as you can see they are telling me that uh, this email address is already in use so for me i already have an account i'm just going to leave and click on here and i'm just going to log in into my account here of course i'm going to do the same for the code and click on sign in once you do so, of course, you will find yourself here. So you'll be able, of course, to enable like the location service, the 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 device storage or phone access or Bluetooth access, whatever suits you. So I'm just going to, as an example, uh, enable those options. So of course, you'll have to go and allow them all, like while using the app, allow, allow, and allow. So once you do so, as you can see, use your phone to take payments with tap and, and pay. So accept contactless payments using just your phone and square points of sale. Enable it by turning off the NFC in your Android settings and tap to pay will work alongside an additional square hardware that you choose. You can simply click on turn on NFC here. And simply if I go back, as you can see, I'll be able to turn it just from here. As you can see, I can simply go and click on that and it will turn on for me. I don't need this at the moment. So from here, you'll be able to do a lot of stuff. So for you, once you're logged in into the Square app, and you'll have to navigate into the setting, settings menu. And normally, you click if you click here on more at the bottom right corner. Uh, sorry, I forgot to show you. So you'll find yourself here. Once you're logged in into your account, you'll simply have to click on more at the bottom right corner, then simply click on settings. Once you do so, of course, make sure to locate the checkout or payment settings. So if you click on checkout, as you can see here, you'll be able to find, like, as you can see, quick amount, sales taxes, order tickets, payment types, and customer uh, management. Here, make sure to go and click on payment types. And as you can see, if you want to enable like the tips, as you can see, you will find here, like the main payment type is going to be cash and record card payment. But more payment types, we have other gift card or certificates, check or other payment types. So if you don't have this other payment types, make sure to enable it on. So you will have it, of course, as tips. And let's just get it down into this more payment tab types. 
and of course uh, here you'll be able to as example click on preview and people will be able to click on more and click on other payment types and of course they will find tips if you're enabled and so on so make sure to go and enable that one and then you can even set like a default tip percentage to make it easier like for customers to leave tip you can set like a default tip percentage and this means like uh, that's when the customers are prompt to add a tip a pre-filled percentage will be suggested based on your preferences choose like a default tip percentage that aligns with your industry centers or customers expectations then make sure to customize like the tip option so square also allows you to customize the tip option uh, that is presented to customers you can add like a specific tip amount or create uh, like a custom tip option for example you can offer like option like uh 13 or 15 or 20 or even 25 tips or you can allow customers to enter like a custom tip amount so after making any changes uh, or unnecessarily changes uh, on the tip settings don't forget to save your settings you can look for like save or apply button with the same menu to ensure like your preferences are applied then to ensure that the tip are working correctly you can conduct a test transaction on the square app you can process a payment as you would normally and check if the tip option are presented to the customer and verify that the selected tip amount is correctly added to, to, to the transaction total. Of course, you'll be able to find everything here in transactions and even in notifications. If you have anything, you'll be able to do so from here and even in checkouts. So you'll be able to see from here like you will be able to find it on donations it's like the tips so here in donation you'll be able to find it and it's going to be here the tips so you can even go as example and open uh, your uh, store or whatever you have on another browser as example on your browser on your pc and go and make a tip and check if you'll have it here in your square app you can make like a dollar just to test it's not a big deal and you'll normally be good to go. So if you reach the sponsor of this video, congratulations, you have successfully enabled tips on the Square app in 2023. By following these tips outlined on this tutorial, you now can offer your customer the option to leave tips when using the Square app for their transactions. Remember to customize the tip option and set a default tip percentage that suits your business needs. So thank you for watching and we wish you the success in your business. End words with Squares or Square. So if you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe for our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one. And of course, if you have any issues, you can always co uh, contact the customer support or leave something down below in the comments and I'll try to come back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching again and I'll be back in the next video.